Hello, everyone. I'm Mehdi, the director of product from the analytics team, and I'm joined by Bilal, our product designer, and Fashad, our product manager. Now, we're going to share the latest developments in analytics, but I'd like to take a moment to talk about the motivation behind our work. Our focus in everything we do is to help you understand and mature your digital operations. This is what motivates us in all of our discovery, design, development, and delivery work. Today, for the very first time, we're going to talk to you about new capabilities designed to drive maturity improvements across operational efficiency, team health, and customer impact dimensions. Each is designed to help you move real-time operations from reactive to preventative levels of maturity. We've also seen and understand that how we work is changing and the need to benefit from analytics insights wherever we work. We'll show you how to identify which services can benefit from automated noise reduction, which responders are at risk of burnout, and what is the impact of incidents on your business. I will pass it on to Bilal and then Fashad to demonstrate these new capabilities. Thanks, Mehdi. We know that you come to use PagerDuty Analytics to get answers to important questions. And to help you get the most value on these journeys, we have curated insights that match questions to tables with advanced filters. We are confident in this approach as it allows you to discover and leverage your data to find and act on important focus areas of your digital operations. To further help you along in your journey to mature, we have grouped these questions across incident activity, service performance, team health, and business impact. These are the questions you've been asking us to help you answer, like which incidents kept occurring most frequently over a period of time? What was the response cost for my services? How were my teams impacted by incidents? And many more. Each question is supported by relevant metrics and related data attributes. For example, on the incident activity tab, which incidents affected my response and resolution time question is supported by metrics and related data attributes such as time to resolve, time to acknowledge, team or service impacted, and of course, the incident description. Looking over at the team health tab, we answer questions like, which responders were most interrupted during business, off, and sleep hours? We've also exposed filtering capabilities to allow you to focus on the data you're looking for. These include global filters that help you set the team, priority, urgency, and date range, as well as table level filtering and search features to make it easy to further discover on the data you're looking for. In case you want to get to something right away, we have added a search capability that looks across the entire content of the insight table. We also know that sometimes you need to build internal reports on these data, and that is why we have provided an export CSV feature. This export can be restricted to the filtered results shown so that you do not have to repeat this process or effort on any other analytical tools. We also know that you need these questions answered where you work, and that is why we have created Analytics On Demand with an integration through Slack. With this feature, you get to track important changes in important metrics through a summary inside Slack, where your teams reflect on how to improve. And for those of you who already have our Slack integration installed, you can start using this today. To help you stay on top of important metrics, we've created a subscription engine that allows you to send weekly, monthly, and quarterly reports. These summary views in Slack are organized to match the corresponding sections in our web experience. Each section is designed to focus on a different component of maturity. To further extend our ability to help you mature, we have developed a recommendation capability that goes beyond identifying noisy services. And to tell you more about recommendations, I will now pass it on to my colleague, Farshan. Thank you, Bilal. We are pleased to release our recommendations engine to help improve your digital operational maturity. A component of these recommendations, as Bilal shared, is around measuring and reducing alert noise. We are able to diagnose your services for the cause of any alert noise or unnecessary notifications that interrupt and disturb your responders. We then provide an actionable, tailored, and one click to accept recommendation to reduce noise using our noise reduction technologies. These recommendations include technologies around intelligent alert grouping and our recently released pause incident notifications. The journey begins with an email notification exposing a high noise service that can benefit from a noise reduction technology. The notification directs you into our web UI where you can see the details and assessments of the recommendation. 
For services where the recommendation is to enable intelligent alert grouping, we provide a detailed table displaying the specific alerts that would have been grouped using the intelligent alert grouping technology over the last 45 days. You can navigate to these details of the alert where clicking it takes you to the alert page. The details view also includes an industry leading maturity rating that benchmarks the current maturity of your service based on its noise and more importantly, where it can be after the recommendation is accepted. This benchmark is based on an assessment across all services in PagerDuty's ecosystem. A similar detailed view exists for services where the recommendation is to enable pause incident notifications. Because pause incident notifications centers around the creation of event rules, our recommendation provides the specific alert summary criteria to efficiently cover the transient alerts that trigger false alarms to your responders. Additionally, identifying the appropriate time to pause these alerts can be challenging. Should you pause the alert for 20 seconds, 45 seconds, two minutes. Our recommendation does all the computing to provide you the optimal time in seconds to pause such alerts before firing an incident. Of course, with either of these recommendations, you can accept with a single click, immediately making your team more agile and productive. Finally, when a recommendation is enabled, a link is provided to the services event rule in case you'd like to review or modify it. We also provide a high-level summary to see which of your services are suffering the most from alert noise and highlight the corresponding recommendation. We summarize the total alerts that can be saved by accepting all of our recommendations. We not only measure what that reduction in alert noise is, including the compression rate, but we also estimate the potential time saved to your team by reducing noise. Lastly, Another element of digital operational maturity is around team and employee health. Responders can quickly burn out from frequent and repeated late night work. Our employee health recommendation can identify these in near real time and suggest a shift override for the responder to proactively prevent burnout. These recommendations are delivered to you in either Slack or email. As always, a simple click will give your at-risk employee a break and schedule another responder as an override. I'll hand it over to Mehdi to help bring all these novel and data-driven insights together. Thank you. Very exciting work. Thank you, Bilal and Fashad. Finally, I'm happy to announce the launch of a new analytics lab. All customers with a digital operations plan can find this new space by going to the bottom of the analytics menu. The Analytics Lab contains the latest curated insights and noise reduction recommendations. We will use this space to incubate and share exciting new analytics capabilities. Our goal is to engage with you, our customers, so that we can collectively shape the future of the analytics ecosystem. But there's one more thing. We know that many of you want even more control over how you consume analytics metrics. That is why we have also released an analytics API to make it easy for you to efficiently consume raw and aggregated incident data. Let's have a look. Let's make a call to the new raw incidents API. Note the added header parameter for early access here. So we'll limit this to 10. Let's have a look at the return values. You'll notice the return results and all the attribute values captured for raw incidents. Let's try that same query, but set the limit to 1000. You can see how quickly we were able to get the response with all the attribute values for each incident. Let's try that call again, but this time filter for incidents with P1 priority name. Let's have a look. You'll notice it return values that is filtered to incidents with P1 priority name. Let's try another call. This time we're making a call for a specific incident, Padeep 7. Let's run that. That return value for a single incident. And let's go check and yes, it is the ID PID7. Let's try a call to our aggregated metrics endpoint. So we want to aggregate results by month and filter to only include incidents created between January 1st, 2020 and June 1st, 2020. Let's run that. Let's scroll up and have a look. As expected, we have results calculated for each metric and separated by each month. For example, the rain start time 
includes incidents created after April 1st, 2020, up to the start of the following time bucket, which is May 1st, 2020. Let's try the same call, but aggregate results by day. Note the range start time has changed from month days ending with May 31st, 2020, preceding it with May 30th and May 29th, or the day before that. Let's try a new call. In this example, we do define an aggregated unit to bucket the results with. The results reflect the entire time range as one bucket to aggregate by, which reflects the calculated metrics for the total time range. In this next example, we're going to make a call to return aggregated team data. Let's have a look. You'll see the results are aggregated for and separated by different teams. Those are just a few examples of calls you can make to different analytics endpoints to get raw and aggregated incident metrics. For more information, please refer to the API documentation on PagerDuty Developer Platform page at developer.pagerduty.com. Using a common language of insights as answers to questions is a novel approach. They make it easy to find what is important and allow you to benefit from the inherent value in your data. These insights make it easy to answer questions about the efficiency, team health, and customer impact of your real-time digital operations. We have also invested in capabilities that make it easy to get metrics that are important. The Lal shared with us earlier new advanced search, sort, and filtering capabilities built around curated results. Automated noise reduction and team health recommendations are an industry-leading offering as they use analysis of mature practices to independently identify the teams and services that can improve the most. They also give you visibility to the direct impact of each potential improvement action. By extending advanced analytics to Slack, we allow you to benefit from getting important metrics where you work. Facilitating sharing of insights makes it possible to integrate continuous improvement practices into daily, weekly, and monthly activities. So by answering questions that matter, delivering insights on Slack, facilitating discovery with advanced search and filtering capabilities, giving you access to rich APIs, and making actionable recommendations, we have delivered a truly powerful analytics platform. Customers on Digital Operations Plan can access these new features today. No additional setup is required. Please contact your rep to start a trial and learn more about these new capabilities. We are excited about these latest developments and are happy to answer any questions. Do come out to Analytics Demo Booth for additional information demos and to speak with our engineering teams. Thank you.